are now on our way to Florida, going to Walt Disney World for our cruise that has been in the books for about uh, two years. Two years, so I am. We tested negative this morning, got the clear to sail. Clear to sail, so you will be seeing from us. Today we're gonna go hit Disney Springs, and then we're also gonna go, hopefully go to home, we'll go to homecoming for dinner, and then hopefully go to uh, Cosmic Green Ride, we're staying at Copper Creek, so uh, stay tuned, and we'll see you in Florida, or Georgia, whichever. Alrighty, so we are on the road again, on the road again. and we just off in Columbia, South Carolina, grab some breakfast and some coffee, which dry her, so we're back on the road again. Yep, Chick-fil-A road trip staple. And then going on a Disney cruise, Miranda's got her life rolling right here. We got the rest of our stuff in the car, but uh, we'll see you when we get back to the uh, when we get to the room. Going in, Let's smell the smell. It smells delicious. There it is, Disney's full blood in this lodge. Staying on the seventh floor, we'll get a view of where we're staying. We're on top here. Come see you somewhere. There we are. Now let's go to our room. Yeah, it's all there. All right, here we go. We're off. Seven one one two is where we're staying. We did request uh, uh, seven one one five and the corner rooms. But uh, this is what they gave us, which is okay. You can have a view of some trees. Um, the odd numbers are the view of the pool or the inside of the resort. And then the even numbers face the outside of the resort. And here is our room. Update, I look like a dad. Technically not a dad, but uh, I've got all our stuff for two days. But then we're just going, we're going into the room, then we're gonna go to head to Disney Springs, go to home, hometown, I call it home cooking, but home? Wait, is it? No, not hometown, not home cooking, it's homecoming. We're gonna go to homecoming, and then after that, we're gonna head to the golf shop, kinda see some golf merchandise, and then after that, we're gonna head to Epcot, and then do our two rides on Cosmic Green Ryan, chill for a little bit, come back to the room, hang out, and just live life. All right. We just arrived to our room, we dropped our stuff off inside, but while we give you room work, we're in 7112, so this is part of the Copper Creek Willis, and so we are on the top floor, come on in. Oh, and let there be light, and there's Macho Man Ready Savage. There's a very large barn door, we haven't even been to the bathroom yet, so it's nice to Area. Ooh, this granite top. Yeah, nice makeup mirror, body lotion, there's me. all that. There's, there's storage down at the bottom, so there's a lot of storage under the sink. Yeah. So this is this is actually different than uh, value resorts because they don't have much storage in their sinks, and this does. Yeah, they have a bunch of shelves and stuff. Yeah. Um, there's two different rooms. 
touch for studios at Copper Creek. We opted for the walk-in shower. Also, look at this. Oh it's yeah. We get our individual ones and Corey doesn't like shower curtains, so this is like fantastic. There's the, the, the porcelain throne, there it is. And then this actually has... What's this? Oh, a little storage closet. Okay, extra pillows, blankets, hangers, whatever you need. If you need to iron some clothes. Oh, this is kind of cool. This has great storage for like snacks. There's some plastic silverware in here. A little trash can. Um, oh, nuts, going nuts, sorry there. Dish soap, a sponge, some paper towels. Awesome. That's what you get when you TVC. They give you a microwave, refrigerator, a little sink. Here's a cup here, a little washcloth. Up here we have some paper plates, cups. Little cups ice bucket. Little ice bucket. Toaster. We've and never had a microwave. No. An actual coffee pot. An actual coffee pot. No, no, this is not a Keurig. This is an actual coffee pot from Mr. Is, coffee. And then this is what they consider an actual mini versus the other like value resorts and stuff have beverage coolers. So that's nice. They actually have some food facilities in here. A little women's lodge mirror that looks like a yeah. piece of wood. A little desk. And then this has this is a queen-ish, maybe a queen or a full. And then this is a pull-out bed. So you can sleep four in here. And then honestly this is pretty good storage. It's spacious. In there, and it turns out to a desk. Yeah, so that's I mean, it's pretty spacious right there. Even if you don't bring out the bed for the um, the sofa, it's, it's it's spacious. So you got two um, two what we call it nightstands, drawers there. Um, you also have some wilderness lot touches there from all the way out Midwest. The headboard's even. Ooh, the headboard's just a bunch of pieces of wood. Fantastic. But it's nice. Sitting in our chair, yeah, but it's very nice. Is that the, that's the DVC, or is that the? That's the, what they consider the quiet pool. And then I think buses may be right down there. Yep, buses are right there. So we're right near the buses. So it's nice. Yeah, I mean, we do have this awkward, funky, funky ledge there, but. Uh, I think it'll be nice. I think that, yeah, so that's the quiet pool, and then the other pool's on the other side. So it should be nice and quiet over here. Yeah, so we're at the top. We're at the seventh floor. Um, nice and quiet. I mean, the pool's on the other side, the main pool, but nice little balcony. Okay, so that it concludes our room tour yeah. with Miranda, the birthday girl, and Corey, who is not the birthday boy. It's a quite bombing. It's 93, 93. Degrees and the index is 102. Feels like I'm about to burn my skin off. I'm gonna get pink. chocolate cookie which orange and chocolate is the best combination in the world I will combat that with you. Very creamy, very peanut oh, buttery. And I got dark chocolate orange. 
also very good. They use oat milk, and so all of them are vegan, which Corey and I aren't vegan, but I do love oat milk. All right, oh my gosh, that's, that's, that's like my favorite one by far. 10 out of 10 from peanut butter. Oh, that is good. I actually think I like that one, but I like Ooh. the orange. I actually think I like the chocolate and orange because I love chocolate and orange together. This is probably a better choice for the season, better than the but, peanut butter. But, but the peanut, peanut butter, butter for all season long, I get the peanut butter, but if you're here, go get the orange chocolate nitro cold brew if that is the bomb. This 10 is, out of 10 for sure. This is part of the flavors of Florida for Disney Springs, but this is delicious. Oh, Highly and, recommend. Oh, and Corey got a dark chocolate Dark orange. chocolate orange cookie. I will try this later. I'll give you a review later. I'm not gonna eat it because it's gonna melt my in my hands and I'm gonna be all chunky. Yeah. Alright? So we're going to homecoming. Let's go. Alrighty, we just got to the homecoming right there. And checked in for our night for reservation. So I think it's way too hot for chicken at the moment. So I'm eyeing devil eggs or salad. What you like? Oh definitely the moonshine. Yeah, I think we're gonna have to try a moonshine drink. This place is highly rated. Everybody loves it. I have not been so excited to eat here since I'm gluten free. Um, we'll see what options they have. I can always eat them. All right, so we're in homecoming, and this whole thing looks like I could have a diabetes heart attack. But it looks amazing. Brandon wants a salad. Actually, you're making a salad because a salad actually looks good. And I don't even know what I'm looking for. But, uh, maybe the shrimp and grits, I don't know. Oh gosh, that's 28 bucks. <laughs> Look at this delicious God-made eggs. I think God was behind there and he just put bacon on these eggs and he said, eat them. And I said, I will. And here we go, let's eat them. Is it? Oh my god. The yolk, creamy, tasty, the smokiness comes from the bacon. That whipped yolk is like by far the consistency is amazing. Thank you. And then the deviled egg is just like my mom's homemade deviled eggs. I mean this is I could eat this and be satisfied. Cheers. Alright, here we go. Miranda's gonna try the heavenly eggs. Choose one, choose one wisely. You gotta eat it whole, you gotta eat the bacon and the egg together. Uh oh. Uh oh, one bite. Open that mouth. Oh. Everybody likes seeing you chew. It's very creamy. It's not too mustardy. Yeah, it doesn't smell, it doesn't taste like eggs. I, I think it's fart. Oh, yeah. That, that's what I think I tasted was honey. Yeah, very good, very good. I highly recommend it. Would you get it again? <laughs> what you got there, Miranda? Yeah, here we go. First taste. She's in heaven. Um, Devil eggs, sweet tea shine, moonshine. Sweet tea moonshine. So I actually asked for the least sweet one because a lot of them were very fruity. And I just wanted something that wasn't super sweet. So they said this one or the margarita one would be the least sweet. This is delicious. And I'm going to take this home for Heck yeah. Alright, here we go. This may be the strongest thing I've drank all day. Holy good night. It is strong, but it tastes like sweet tea. Like, it's like granny sweet tea and my mom's sweet tea put together with some. It has some like lemon flavor to it. Lemon flavor and also some just, yeah, tequila or whatever it is. I don't know what it's it is. It's moonshine. moonshine. Oh, duh. Or moonshine. But this is nothing, nothing like it. This is amazing. You should get it. Oh, 
we did not stop this unusually large man. <laughs> they were like a dude. This thing right here is magical. It is orange, chocolate, and walnut, pecan. No, pecan. There's salty, there's sweet, there's tangy, there's chocolate, there's creamy, there's all. Set your taste buds on a frenzy. I'm telling you, this thing is like, it sets up sparks in my brain. I think I just hit the job. Right, day one recap, Miranda is, Sewing. sewing. Yeah. So that's what vacation turns out to be is a sewing day. Yeah. So how was day one, Miranda? Day one was great. We got here. We went straight to Disney Springs. I think. Yeah. Yeah. Went straight to Disney Springs. We ate at homecoming. She's sewing. <laughs> I'm trying to sew my patches back on that I ripped off of my little fanny pack. Um, we at homecoming for the first time. Very good. We both got salads and um, deviled eggs. They were delicious. Service was amazing. Even being gluten free and not getting to eat the fried chicken, I still really enjoyed it. Um, I would definitely go back. It's gonna be a repeat. Then we went straight to Epcot. They did let us on to Cosmic Rewind. Even That's though, right. Even though like our virtual queue had passed, they didn't have a problem, didn't even ask questions. Jumped on it, came out, pouring down rain. So Got we, soaked. Yeah, we jumped right back in line um, for our paved lightning lane to ride it. First ride we got, what was our song? Uh, it September. was September, yeah, yeah. And then we got Conga the second time, which we really enjoyed. That's a fun one. Yeah, and apparently, go ahead. Gloria Estefan was on it this morning, and I'm so sad we were not there. But she didn't get Conga. <laughs> yeah, but it was, I just think that's cool. Um, but yeah, that was great, and then we hightailed it the heck out of Epcot as it was still raining. Got back, we here at Copper Creek, took a little stroll around just to check out the sights and sounds, figure out what we want to do tomorrow after our Wild Africa track. Also, just wait for Disney buses when you're waiting on some buses. Don't get the ones that are charter buses, because we got one heat. Decided he was going to drive like 10 miles an hour to the resort and then take like an hour. And then he put on the brakes, pumped the brakes. I felt like I was on, on Cosmic Rewind again. I felt so nauseous. Miranda felt motion sickness like it was bad. So, Disney tip. Wait on those Disney buses. I know it's going to be long. Or just take the Skyliner. It's worth it not to not to ride those motor coaches the big, those big, whatever, tour buses. So, yeah, that's it for day one. Um, day two coming tomorrow, Wild Africa Trek. And my day one shirt is a Lost Bros move on into tomorrow. The people mover. Let's go. Have a magical night. And we will see you tomorrow. Bye. Bye. Bye.